Hello. My name is Janel Tong. What's your name? Janel Dong. Okay, Janel Dong. Yes. How old My are you? Okay. I'm nine years old. Okay. And JD. My name. My name is JD. I'm twelve years. You are twelve years. Okay. All right, you are welcome to Hausa class. My name is Mr. Marcos. I'll be your Hausa teacher. I, I know that your mom must have told you why you are meeting me online today, right? Yeah. All right. All right. So um, can we just start by knowing how much of Hausa you know? Little that you know. What are the words you know? Let's just try to know so that we can know where to start from. Let me start with JD. Yeah. Yeah. All I know is. All you know is what? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A. A. <laughs> all right. A means yes, right? That's all you know. Bia. <laughs> okay. Okay, now on the. Okay, um, yes, you, what do you know? Yes. Yeah. Rua means water, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Abinchi. Yes. Yes, that's nice. You know a lot. You know a lot. So this class will be able in Aukwana. Ah, that's nice. You already know how to greet, right? Yes. Okay. Um you know Sanda Zua. Okay. That's nice. Um, I think I'm I'm happy that you know some words and every day you hear people speaking Hausa in your house. But it's just that you don't understand everything they say, right? I understand, but I can't speak. Oh, nice. Then we'll start speaking. We'll start learning how to speak. All right. So, but I, I would like you to give me your, your maximum cooperation and also attention, right? If you stay yeah. with me, in a short while, you start speaking. So let me give you some tips about speaking any language. Any language you want to learn how to speak, you must, you must be ready to make mistakes. You must be ready to speak it. Even if people are laughing at you, then you become perfect. You've heard the, word, uh, the phrase uh, saying that pra practice makes perfect, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So the more you practice, one day you'll be the one that will be correcting me. you say, oh, uncle, this is not how to say it. This is not how to say it. Because you already know you become perfect. So are we good? Yes. Okay. Please, I want you to keep every distraction away from you. So that the one hour that we have, we'll do our best to start learning to speak some words. Is that okay? Yes. Excellent. So today we are going to start with greetings because greetings is one of the first things we do when we communicate with people. When we meet somebody for the first time or uh, a day after or later, we always want to greet before we start a uh, conversation with the person, right? Yes. <coughs> All right. So um, today we are going to learn some of the words, you, uh, the greetings that you already said. For example, first thing in the morning, you say, in Aquana. Are we together? Yes. In Aquana means good morning. Say it after me. In Aquana. In Aquana. In Aquana. Aquana. Excellent. Now, there's a response that anybody who speaks Hausa would all would say, as a response to inakwana your response if somebody tells you inakwana you tell him lafia kalao lafia kalao can you say it after me 
Lafia Kalo. Yes, or Lafia Low. Did you get that one? Yes. So you can say Lafia Kalo or Lafia Low is still correct. So can we say it in our corner? Then our response will be Lafia Kalo or Lafia Low. Let's go. Or, yes, so as much as you can, whatever we have learned today, try and practice it. When you wake up tomorrow in the morning, when you see mommy, you see your sister or your brother, you tell them what? In our corner, then they should be able to respond. Lafia low or Lafia galo. Are we good? Yes. All right. So the next thing we are going to look at is maybe greeting in the afternoon saying good afternoon now there's something about house greetings like when somebody tells you hello are you with me yes okay when somebody tells you uh good morning in house in our corner they are only trying to find out how you are doing are we together yes. all right so lafia means ah. i am well Hmm? Lafia Alao means I am well indeed. Did you get that? Yes. So because every time a Hausa person greets you, he wants to find out or he, she wants to find out how you are doing. So your natural response will be, I am fine, right? Yes. Okay. So I am fine means Lafia. Lafia means fine or well. Then when you say Lafia Galo, it means that you are well indeed. When you say Lafia Galo, your response is meaning that I am well indeed. Are we together? Yes. All right. So the next greetings is afternoon and evening greetings, which is the same. Now, um, when you say good afternoon in Hausa, the... The way you say good afternoon in Hausa is inawuni. Inawuni. Can you repeat after me? Inawuni. Yes. So that's how. Now, inawuni is still a way of finding out how you are doing this. Uh, wuni. wuni means actually like a time after uh, afternoon or noon time. Okay. Yes. All right. So they are asking you, how has your day been? So what do you say? It's either you say you are fine or Lafia Galo. Lafia Galo means what? Fine indeed. I am well indeed. Yes. Good. So always when, when greetings are done in Hausa is to find out how you are doing, right? Yes. So your response should be that I'm fine indeed, which is Lafia Galo or Lafia Galo. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so can somebody tell tell us uh, how you greet good afternoon? How do you say good afternoon in Hausa? In Awuni. Yes, Lafia. Hello. That's the response. Yeah. You understand? The response for good morning is the same as that of good afternoon. Do we understand? Yes. Excellent. So what I want you to always do from today at home, if you are home, eh, always try to practice yes. and speak Hausa. Is, that's how you become perfect. Do you understand? Yes. All right. What's the next greeting? Good evening. Good evening is also Inawuni. Inawuni because evening is also just afternoon. True? Yeah. True. Yeah. So, so Inawuni is the same for good afternoon and also for um, good evening. So, our response is still Lafia Low or Lafia Kalo. Is that okay? Yes. So, how do we say good evening in Hausa? Inawuni. Okay, my response. Yes. Yes. So my response is Lafia Low. Is that okay? Yes. 
All right. The next greeting is telling somebody bye bye or bidding somebody farewell, telling him good night or goodbye. Are we together? Yes. So how do you say goodbye? Or how do you say good night? Let's start with goodbye. Goodbye, say Anjima. Say Anjima. Okay. Anjima. Yes. Anjima. Yeah, well, say Anjima, not say the Anjima. Say Anjima. Say Anjima. Now, say Anjima means until later, but it's just the way of saying goodbye in Hausa. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So anytime you want to go and tell somebody bye bye, you just say say Anjima. Like you can say uh JD, say Anjima JD. Then the person yeah. will respond. The person will respond, yeah wa say Anjima. The response for goodbye is yeah wa say Anjima. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, what means yes until later. But that's direct translation. But the meaning is just goodbye. Yes, goodbye. If somebody tells you goodbye, you tell him, okay, bye bye, bye. You know, in English we say, bye bye, bye. Right? That's the response, right? Yes. Okay. So in Hausa, when you say, say Anjima, then your response will be, yeah, wa, say Anjima. All right, can you tell me, say Anjima, so that I'll respond to you? Say Anjima. Yeah, wa, say Anjima. All right? Are we good? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, we are going to good night. Now, good night in, in Hausa is say go be. Say go be. Now, yeah, gobe means tomorrow. Because if you tell somebody good night, it means that you are not seeing him till tomorrow, right? Yes. Hmm? Jerry? Yes. Yes. So anytime you tell somebody, uh, say gobe, like you are saying good night. In Hausa, we say say gobe, even though it's word for word, it means until tomorrow. Right? Okay, so, but to say goodnight in Hausa is what? Say go be. Say go be. Hello? Okay, are you with me? Yes. So how do you say goodnight in Hausa? Say go be. Alright, my response will be, Yewa, say go be. Yewa, say go be. When somebody tells you in English, just like in English, when somebody says good night, you say night night, okay? Or you say good night, good night. All right. So in Hausa, it's also the same. When somebody tells you say go be, your response is yewa, say go be. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So can we recap from the beginning? What did we learn? First, good morning. Can somebody tell me what good morning is? My response to you is yo uh in lafi hello. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, what how do you say good afternoon? Yeah. Lafi hello. So it means anytime I say yeah, I mean I'm just saying uh yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. So um we have done good morning, good evening, good afternoon, right? So you should know that the next time we are going to have a class, which is tomorrow, hmm, your greetings yeah, to yeah. me from today will no more be in English. Is that okay? It's yeah. all going to be in Hausa. Anything we have learned how to uh, to say in Hausa, we cease to speak it in English. Once I am around. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So, but your homework is every day you must practice once this class is over. 
Is that okay? Yes. Good. So, the next thing we are going to learn is another form of greeting. Welcome. Welcome. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. So, we always welcome people who come to our house. So, when somebody comes or whether a visitor or mommy comes back from work or daddy comes back from work, we say what? Welcome. Welcome in Hausa is Sanuda Zua. Sanuda Zua. Can you repeat after me? Sanuda Zua. Sanuda Zua. Sanuda Zua. Yes, excellent. So Sanuda Zua means welcome. So anytime somebody comes to your house or mommy comes back from work, you can tell her mommy Sanuda Zua. Daddy Sanuda Zua. Now, the response for Sanuda Zua is Yewa Sanun Kude. That is Ku is for you. You plural. Hello? Hello. You know the difference between uh, singular and plural, right? Yes. Okay. Like if I say you, I mean you and your sister, right? Yes. That's plural. Is that okay? So if yes. it's two of you that tell that that said to me, uh, Sanuda Zua, I was, my response will be, Yewa Sanun Kudei. Yewa sanun kude. Are we together? Yes. If it's one person, like if it's a male, I'll say yewa sanun kade. Yewa sanun kade. Or you can just say yewa sanu. If you don't want to use um, uh, sanun kade, sanun kude, but you can just say yewa sanu. Do you understand? All right. So anytime somebody tells you, uh, welcome, Sanuda Zua, you can say, Yewasanu. Yewasanu. Can we go with that? Yes. All right. So I would, I would greet you all the greetings we have learned now so that I'll hear your response. It's going to strictly be Hausa. Okay? Yes, all right. In our corner. Last year. Last year. Okay. Uh in our in in our uni. Lafia. Lafia, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So anytime the two greetings, the three greetings response are the same. That is good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Lafia low. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So, but uh, good night is say go be. What's your response? What's your response? For? Say go be. You would also say yawa say go be because yawa is yes, good night. Or you is just saying all right, good night. You understand the response? Yes. All right. So, say go be. Excellent. So, what about goodbye? Say Anjima. Say Anjima. Say Anjima. Excellent. You guys are just too good. Okay? Yes. So, uh, we've said, but, uh, welcome is Sanuda Zua. What would your response be? Yawa Sanu Kade. Yeah, thank you very much. You really know. All right. So another way is, how are you doing? Right? Like, for example, you come in, somebody is home, you say, how are you doing? Like, these greetings are actually casual greetings for people who are within your age bracket. Who are within your what? Age bracket. Uh -huh. You can't say, how are you doing to daddy, okay? In English, it may be accepted, but in, in our culture, you, there, are ways, there are words that you cannot say to somebody who is older than you. 
or more uh, like your daddy your mommy okay you can't just say uh, how are you doing you just say good morning ma good morning mommy good morning daddy welcome daddy right but if you meet your mate in school or your brothers and sisters siblings right you can say how are you doing like you can say jenny what's what's the other person's name i keep saying once a uh, one person's name Janelle. Janelle and Jody. 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 All right, don't worry. Mommy will send your names on the um, on the chat for me so that I will score that name, okay? Yeah. All right. So, how are you doing or how are you is for people in Hausa is for people who are within your age uh, bracket. That is the, those people who are your mates. Is that okay? Good. Yes. All right. So how do we say how are you? You in Hausa could mean a female. You know, when you say, even in English, when you say you, it means a person could be a male or female or plural. Right? Yes. Uh-huh. So if I'm yes. talking to a male and I mean to say how are you, in Hausa it will be ya ya kaki. Yeah, yeah, kaki. Do we understand? Yes. Okay. And you know that anytime somebody asks you how you are doing, he is trying to find out how you are doing, then your response will be what in Hausa? Take a guess. Yeah. 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 No, you're supposed to say laughing at low because anytime somebody asks you how you are doing your response should be i am fine indeed you know you remember yes yeah, so anytime somebody asks you how you are doing it's just for you to say laughing at low or laughing at low so you remember that yaya kaki means how are you for a male is that okay Okay, so whenever I say yaya kaki, you say lafi alau. Yaya kike is for female. Yaya kaki ka ke is for male, which is how are you for male. But yaya kike, you are asking a female how she is doing. Do we understand? Yeah. All right, so let's do Yaya Kaki for male and then uh, how are you for male and for female? Let me hear you. One to go. Yaya Kaki. Mm hmm. And Yaya Kiki. Okay. And in Hausa is Da. Da. D A. Okay? So yeah. when you are speaking, next time don't say and. Say Da. Yaya Kaki. Da yaya kiki. Yaya kaki. Da yaya kiki. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, next time if you are speaking Hausa and you need to use and, you say da. So let's do it again. How are you for both male and female? Let's start with the male first and then female second. Yaya kaki. Da yaya kiki. Excellent. That's nice. Okay. That means we are getting it. We are getting it. And I'm happy. I hope that you will not forget it. The only way you will not forget it is if you practice. Do we understand? Yes. All right. So I want you to practice and practice and practice. People will be laughing at you at first. But don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. Yes. All right. So, how are you for plural is yaya kuke, kuke. For male, ka ke. For female, ki ke. For uh, plural, kuke. Did you get that? Yes. Excellent. So, anytime you, you see a group of people, you want to find out how they are, like your friends. Oh, you just came. 
you say how are you in english right so but in hausa you say ya ya kuke do we understand yeah okay so next thing is the response to ya ya kuke you know i told you anytime somebody asks you how you are feeling or how you are doing is to say lafi allow that is to say i am fine indeed fine indeed or well indeed do we understand hello yes <coughs> all right all right so um we are going to do a recap before we go to another phase okay let's do a recap let's start i'll i'll now say good morning to you i want to hear a response okay or better still two of you are there right yeah. okay greet each other and then let one person respond let one person greet let's go all the greetings we have done today In a, in a the next one yeah, hello. Take over. Yeah, what? Take over. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Say goodbye. Can I, can I do so? No. Goodbye yeah, is say what? Anjima. Goodbye is say Anjima. I want you to do goodbye. Okay. Say Anjima. Mm -hmm. Next, welcome. Welcome. All right, let's go. How are you? Yeah, yeah, Kiki. Lafia, hello. Yes, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Is he a male there? One of you is no. female. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't say yayakake to a female. You only say yayakake yeah, 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 to a male. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I'm happy with the way you are doing it. But you see, if you practice, you'll never forget. But if you don't practice, oh. Uh, we have to start from where we started today, tomorrow. But if you practice and tomorrow you become perfect, we we'll then keep moving and moving and moving. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Any question so far before I get into something else? No. All right. So let's start with introducing yourself in Hausa. Introducing yourself in Hausa. Like for example in English, when we started, I said my name is Mr. Marcus. Is that right? Okay. Yes. So in Hausa you say uh Sunana Marcus. Sunana Marcus. Meaning that my name is Marcus. Is it okay? Yes. Suna means name. Suna means name suna means what yeah. my name is sunana my name is sunana sunana are we together yes okay suna means what name but when I say my name is Sunana, Na is like mine. We'll learn a lot about my, my hand, my leg, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. Okay? Yeah. All right. So, my name is Marcos. Sunana Marcos. Sunana Marcos. So, everybody introduce yourself. Yes, let me hear you again. Yeah, Jody, you are far away from the uh, mic. I want to hear you. 
Nana, Jody. So Nana, Janel. Okay. Now the next thing is sometimes when you meet somebody, you want to ask, "What is your name?" What is your name? Is that okay? So how do you yes. say? How do you ask this question? What is your name? In Hausa, you say, "Menene Sunanka." If it's a male, "Menene Sunanka." Menene Sunanka. If it's a male, if it's a female. Menene sunanki. Menene sunanki. Don't forget, I said name is suna. Menene sunanki. If it's a male, menene sunanka. Now, if they are a group, like for example, some people will call themselves a particular group, right? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can ask them, menene sunanku, because they are a, a, in a group plural. So there's your that is for male, there's your that is for female, your plural. Do we understand? Do we understand? Yes. All right. So the question: Anytime you meet somebody who you don't know, you want to know. His or her name is to say what? Menene sunanka for male. Menene sunanka. Repeat after me. Menene sunanka. Menene sunanka. Yes, that's for male, right? Yes. Okay, my response will be Sunana Marcos. Sunana Marcos. Then my question to you now, menene sunanki. Sunana Jodi. Again? Sunana Jodi. Yes. Sunana Janda. Yes, excellent. So, if you are asking a male, menene sunanka. If you are asking a female, menene sunanki. Then the response will be sunana Marcos or sunana... Janelle or Jody, right? Yes. All right. So we have now learned how to introduce ourselves. Hmm? I am Marcus. Sunana Marcus. Hmm? So now, yes. since we are, we have introduced ourselves, we know how to say our names in Hausa. What did I say name is in Hausa? Sunana. Excellent. Again, Jody. Sunna. Yes, Sunna means name. Yes. What is your name is Menene Sunanka. Menene Sunanki for female, right? Yes. All right. Any questions so far? No. All right. So, anytime somebody asks you, what is your name? Uh, you keep saying, my name is Jody, so Sunana Jody. Okay? Now, the next yeah. thing we are going to do, we are going to learn body parts. Body parts, okay? Because that's what we have first, right? You have your head. In Hausa, it's called Kai. Kai. Let me hear you say Kai. 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 Excellent. When you want to say my head, you say Kaina. 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 All right. I is Ido. 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 So when you want to say my eye is Ido na. Excellent. So the next thing is nose. Hanchi. 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 Yes, how do you say my nose? Hanchi. Excellent. Mouth is baki. 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 Yes. How do you say my 
How do you say my mouth? Bakina. 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 Yes, so you have to dra uh, drag a bit that na, okay? Bakina. Not, not Bakina. Bakina. Not Bakina. 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 Yes, good. So the next, we have done eyes, ear, ears, kunne. 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 So how do you say my ears? Kunena. 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 Again. Kunena. Excellent. Now, Han is Hanu. Hand is Hanu. Yes. How do you say my hand? Excellent. Hanuna. Now, leg is kafa. Leg kafa. 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 How do you say my leg? Kafana. Yes. Good. Kafana. All right. Now, how do you say my my knee. Knee. Knee is guiwa. 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 I did not hear you say it again. Guiwa. Guiwa, right? Guiwa. Yes. How do you say my knee? Excellent. All right. All right. That's nice. So now you can somebody tell me what head is in Hausa? Um, head is Kai. Kai. Excellent. How do you say my head? Kai na. Then eyes is what? Excellent. Yes, so my eyes, my eye now will be what? Idona. Idona. Excellent. Then how do you say mouth? Baki. Baki. Mm -hmm. Then my mouth will be? Baki. Good. Nose is what in Hausa? Hanchi. Hanchi. Mm -hmm. My nose. Nice. Then hand is what? My hand. Alright. Then the next thing is knee. Knee. Guiwa. 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 What is my knee in ha in Hausa? Guiwa na. Excellent. Now you know. Then what are fingers? Finger is yata. Finger is yata. Yapa. Yata. Excellent. My finger is what? Yatana. Yatana. Thank you. These are things that belong to you. Go. <coughs> yes. Now, A is yes. I like it that you know A. A is yes. No is what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yes. Good. So, you remember I said, how are you, is yaya kaki. You remember? Yes. 
Then if I say how is your eye, it will be yaya idonka. If it's a male, how is your eye? Yes, yaya idonka. Yaya idonka. How is your eye? Let's say, for example, somebody has problem with his or her eye, and then somebody came just just finding out. How is your eye? Yaya idonka. You remember yaya kaki? Yaya kaki is how are you? But this time around, we are not asking about you, but your eyes. Yaya idonka. Did you get that? Yes. All right. So, yeah, yeah, you don't care. My response is, you don't laugh here. You don't laugh here. That's my eyes is fine. My eyes is fine. My eye is fine. Are we together? Yes. All right. Let's say somebody hits his, uh, she, somebody, a, a girl hits her leg yesterday at school but today when you saw her you just said how how is your leg what would that be in house yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes yeah yeah kafa in key yeah yeah kafa in key say it again Yes, because it's, it's a girl, right? But if it's a male, it will be what? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, ka is for male, ki for female, ku for plural, like group of people, right? Yes. Okay, nice. So, Yaya yeah, yeah, is how is okay. Just anytime you are asking how is Yaya, yeah, yeah. how are you doing? Yaya yeah, yeah, kiki, Yaya yeah, kiki, Yaya yeah, yeah, kuki. Hmm? How is your eye? Yaya yeah, yeah, idonka, Yaya yeah, yeah, idonki, Yaya yeah, yeah, idanunka. All right, we are going to get to idanu. Now let's go to plural. You know plural, right? Singular and plural. Yes. Okay. I is Ido. Eyes is Idanu. Idanu. Hmm? Yeah. Are we together? Can we repeat? I is what? Idanu. No, for plural, for singular. Ido. 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 Yes. Idanu. Okay. Your eyes, Ida Nuanku. Ida Nuanku. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. So let's take it bit by bit. I don't want to go too much today uh, so that there's so much um, we have to learn. But I don't want to like um, bring too much today so that your head will not be filled with too much that you cannot remember. Do we have any question? No. Why no? I have a question for you. Since you don't want to ask me a question, me, I will ask you a question. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right. Now, how do you say... Good morning, Mr. Marcos. Mr. Marcos. Yes. Mr. is like they used to say Malam. Okay? Malam Marcos. Is that okay? I know in Lagos when you say Malam, it means Hausa person. Eh? Malam means yes. like Mr. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So you say in Aquana. Malam Marcos. Then I will say Lafia Low. Lafia Low. JD Inauni. Lafia Tendo. 
Yes. Janelle, in our knee. Last year, hello. All right. Janelle, say go be. Yeah, wa. Go be. Aha. Janelle, ah, uh, Jerry, say Anjima. All right. Janelle, menene sunanki. Menene sunanki. Sunana. Sunana. Yes, yeah, sunana. Janelle, not sunana. Sunana. Hmm? Make sure that your tone. Yeah, like drugs a bit, okay? Yes. Okay, there's fall and rising of tone. Hmm? Fall and rising of tone. So you don't say sunana. You know, you raise it. But now when you say sunana, Janelle. Okay? Let's go again. What is your name means? Yaya sunanki. Menene sunanki. Menene sunanki. Yes, yeah, Sunana Jodi. Excellent. So that's how you respond. Hmm? So, uh, Yaya Kuki. Yaya Kuki. Now listen. Yaya Kaki is for male, right? And the response, yeah. Lafia Low. If they ask you as a female, Yaya Kiki, the response is Lafia Low or Lafia Low. But when they ask you, Yaya Kuki, you say, Lafia Low also for a group. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, this is where we'll stop today. I think our time is almost getting up. So that I'll just take my breath. I'll catch my breath before the next class. So, no question. No. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the class. Did you? Yes. All right. So make sure you keep practicing all that we've learned today. Tomorrow, our time is still on, okay? For another class. Yes. So get ready tomorrow. I'm going to, we're going to start forming sentence with my hand, my leg, my knee, my toes, and finger. Who can remind me what finger is? No, guiwa is knee. Finger is yata. Yata. Okay? So anything anything you 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 try to remember and you couldn't just ask mommy, okay? Or daddy. They will remind you. So but your assignment is to keep communicating in house with your brothers and your 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 mommy and daddy, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. I see that some of you are looking at mommy to see what the answer is anytime I ask. True or yes? <laughs> <laughs> I know. When I hear silence, I know that you are looking at her to tell you what the answer is. But if you practice, you don't have to even remember. It will stick to your brain. Okay? Yeah. All right. So thank you. So we'll see tomorrow. But if you want to stay for your brother and uh, your other siblings' class, no problem. You can still stay, okay? Yeah, okay. okay. All right, where's mommy? <laughs>